Just about ready, set, and away uh, they go. And that was a fair start. All rise dropping back shortly after the start. Dulona is the first one to break and gone off to the lead. Performs racing in second in the yellow sleeves and cap. Arabian red, blue sleeves and cap is one off the rail. Got the white sheepskin. On the outside is Mount Etna in the blue and green colours is racing three deep. And Tananarivo in the white body and black cap is further back. And they followed by All Rise and Dame Colleen. In behind that is Bomber Grigio. That's in the pink. It's the grey horse. And at the back of the field is Martinique. And there's about eight or nine lengths that cover them past. Past the 1,200-meter uh, marker, Jelona's in front. Leads the way by three lengths to Mount Etna, racing in second. Arabian Red is third. Perform is fourth at the rail. Yellow sleeves and cap. All risers continuing to race wide in the pink cap. And further back is Antananarivo. White body and black cap gives the leader eight lengths start. Dame Colleen's along the inside. Then came behind that bomber, Grigio. As they come down to the last 800 meters, Martinique is at the back of the field now. And in front is Jelona. Leads the way by three lengths to Mount Etna, racing in second. In the centre of the track is the blue sleeves and cap of Arabian Red. Then comes Perform further back in the field. Dame Colleen goes towards the inside, but jelona has got a big lead, about five lengths into the final 400 metres. In second spot is Mount Etna. Then comes Martinique in the orange sleeves, is trying to find a finish. Then Antananarivo further back in the field is Dame Colleen, who's not being persevered with now as they come to the final 200 metres. Antananarivo has hit the front from in second Jelona. Martinique up along the inside, but Antananarivo has kicked away and kicked away by four or five lengths. Performs running on late for second, but it's Antananarivo second to perform. Mart uh, Mount Etna third, and then came Martinique in fourth. Here's the head-on replay in the white with the black cap is your winner, Antana Narivo, under Pilasand and Koli. Drifting leftwards, perform ran on late in the yellow sleeves and cap on the outside. But uh, by that time, Antana Narivo was well in command and continued to find and ended up winning it. Two is the winner, Antana Narivo, from one, then nine, then ten. Two, one, nine, ten, the numbers for race number two. Clyde Basil will be in the box from race three through seven. Sorry, uh, microphone problems. It wasn't on. That was the problem. Um, yeah, there we go. So we're now on. And uh, yeah, the, the favorite Arabian Red drifted quite markedly to start at even money. The, the market went cold on her, but there was inspired money for the winner. And Tana Nariva, she shortened in, um, or rather, yeah, she shortened all the way in there into, I think, nine to two from 10 to one. So lots of money on her. And with me is Pillar Sunday McCauley. If you just want to face the camera, Pillar Sunday, congratulations. Moved up nicely. Um, uh, it wasn't her run last time out, but she, she certainly showed it today. Yeah, 100%. Sir. Uh, last time she needed the run very bad. So today she was a bit fresh and she pinked out the pants. Uh, I could get up there uh, easy and I was sitting comfortably with her just following the horses that were going. Then she quickened all the way to the line. Think there's more wins there over a trip? Yeah, I think so. I think she will even go further than this distance. I think there's still more to come. Okay, great stuff. And uh, you've got some nice rides on the day today. Uh, what did you pick out for as your next best? Mm, uh, in the next race, I'm riding Ips Effect. I think she's got a big chance. I'm just concerned about the, the, the layoff. She's yeah. been off for a while. But she's changed tables, though. 100%. Yeah. But I think she'll run well. And also in race five, a uh, key element, she yes. should run well. And uh, race six, back to basics, you also should run well, sir. Okay, so you've got a nice book of rides today. Expecting to see you a bit later. Yeah, 100%. So thank you so much. I just want to thank Miss Dawson for the op for the great opportunity and also thanks to the owners involved for the great opportunity and also thanks to my sponsor, Mr. Ackerman. Thank you so much. Okay, gets a couple of gold stars for that. Uh, well done to Pilasande there. Well done to him. And with me is Candace Dawson. Well, you'll be well chuffed uh, coming to the office. Firstly, comments about yesterday and your runners at Grable, quickly. Um, I know you don't want to touch on that. Uh, Nico, you know, uh, you always hope for the best, and when it doesn't work your way, yeah, you have a shed a bit of a tear because, you know, it costs money to go down there. So although they all earned a check, it wasn't quite good enough to warrant the expense of travelling down. But it goes like that sometimes, and you've got to take your medicine, you know. And just when you're down in the dumps, along comes in Tananarivo and changes the mood. <laughs> Shame, you know, we actually we were talking about this being her... Uh, her last kind of start to judge whether she's worth carrying on for that maiden win. Uh, you know, but she showed nice form 
until her prior last two races. You know, she doesn't like turpentine, that her form shows that. And then obviously last time needing it quite a bit. So it was nice to see her finally put it together because she has shown the form to win a uh, race of this nature. And maybe now she's just worth a, a shout out the maidens and see where we are with her. Fantastic stuff for two great supporters of the game, Marshall, Marshall and uh, Larry. I know, I've got to say just a big well done to Larry and Marshall. You know, they've been really patient with her and it's just so nice for um, her to reward them today with this one. Quick comment on Perfect Witness. Um, Disappointing last time out, you know, before her streak of two wins, she she had in and out form. So we're hoping we've got her back to herself as she was, but um, you're never quite 100% sure, but she's well in herself and we're hoping to give them a go. A nice run from that horse in the first race. A very nice run. Yeah. You know, she's had a bit of a break. She's strengthened and I think she wants a lot further. So that was oh, a lovely... Does. I lovely mean, that run. mother was top class for you, wasn't she? Yeah, shame she ran third in the Oaks and yeah. second in another... Fee uh, yeah, staying race. One thing you got to promise me is that this money is going to go nowhere near your husband. Betway, I've given you 5,000 Rand um, as the winning trainer today in race at number two. I know. Uh, just a big thank you to Betway. You know, it's greatly appreciated and we'll spend it wisely. Yeah, on yourself. <laughs> I'm sure my sister and I will. Yeah, maybe, and your sister, maybe your sister. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just a big well done to Hollywood Bets. I mean... Yes, sorry. That's your sponsor? <laughs> yes, to our sponsor, oh, Hollywood Bates, sorry. Okay, and here we go. We have to give you this 15,000 Rand check. You're picking up all the checks today. This is to owners uh, Finley and Nestat. Congratulations to you, sirs, and uh, job well done. You've picked up the maiden win, Candice. Well done with Antonio Riva. Okay, that's it. Uh, the winning interviews for race two, and uh, race three comes up next. Obviously, um, still some messages coming through about the first race. We just have to touch on that. Um, unfortunately, don't shoot the messenger. I, I went and... And, and source the information from the Stipes. Ultimately, you'll have to pick up the information from the Stipes report, which is the official communique from the Stipes on a race day. After that, if there are any queries, direct them to the NHA.